Hey, so we're doing the what's on the shelf part three um, on the Instagram account. On the Facebook account, I actually started doing these a long time ago and I wasn't doing them as videos, so they're not at the same stage. So on our third shelf, I have uh, Plank, and then Dice Throne Season 1 and Dice Throne Season 2. Um, so starting with Clank, uh, Clank's a great game. It's a deck builder that's also a dungeon crawl. So with this one is you have your initial deck. You'll go and cycle through it. Um, and, you know, so you can, they'll have move action or they'll have attack action because you can come across monsters that you can attack. Um, and there'll also be Clank. And that's what's really unique about this game, because when you clank, basically is you're not being careful, you're making noise, so the dragon that's in the dungeon kind of he can hear you. Um, and the more noise you make, the hot, like the more likely that he'll attack you. And every once in a while in the game, the dragon will attack, and then you take all of the clank cubes, because every time you clank, you got to put cube. Uh, in the little waiting area and then every time the dragon attacks you put all of those cubes in the back now So there's already a bunch of black cubes in that one um, As well as all of your colored cubes and the other players cubes that gets added into it and depending on How far along how many cubes get pulled out? So if your color comes out then you've been attacking you take that much damage if the black cubes comes out, that's the dragon's cubes, so nothing happens, but they don't go back in the game. So eventually, there's less and less black cubes and more and more of your colored cubes, so you can start taking more damage. You're going around the dungeon uh, collecting artifacts. Um, they're worth different things. Um, as you play and kind of purchase more cards, some of the cards are going to be worth uh, victory points as well. Um, and the idea is you want to go grab a an artifact, two if you have a backpack, and then make your way out and then have the highest score, most victory point at the end of the game. Um, if you die and you're below ground, you're eliminated. If you die and you're above ground but still in the castle, um, the villagers will come and save you so you still get to claim your victory points. It's a really interesting game um, and it looks neat, neat table presence. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like there. That This one is a good one. Um, I got this one in 2017 for Christmas. Um, so I've had it for a little while now. So it's it's one that's always really well received. People that play this really enjoy playing. Next one I have is Dice Throne Season 1. So a few years ago, I was at uh, Shoebox on uh, their board game night. And they have a collection that of like a library that you can play with. And I was meeting a friend there and we picked a game that neither of us had played and we grabbed Dice Throne Season 1. Now this is a Roxley game and Roxley is based out of Calgary. So of course we're big fans, um, but we got playing it. And partway through we kind of paused and I was like, hold on. And they didn't have any copies left at that particular uh, game store. So I called the one in my hometown and they had one as I like, put it aside, I'm coming to get this. I didn't even finish my first game and I knew that I loved it and I was going to get it. So with this one, there's eight different characters that you can play as. Um, and each of your characters comes with a board and you have your own deck of cards and you have your own customized dice. And it has a bit of that Yahtzee style. So on the board, there's different actions that you can do, different attacks, or if you're being attacked, defense that you can do. Um, and you'll roll your dice and kind of collect the symbols that you need to activate one of those attack. And you can roll up to three times. Um, well, as you play, you'll get cards and will allow you to upgrade some of those attack as well. So you can put a card that'll cover the board so it kind of gives you a better attack. Um, every time I play this one, it seems really well balanced because it's always been a tight game. So this is season one here. Now they've done a reprint of season one to kind of match the season two a little bit more. And that's not the copy I have. Um, this is a, a game that I had. So it's neat. You've got the two dials. The one dial kind of keeps track of um, your 
your money like you kind of utilize those points to purchase the card that you want to get um and then you have that or uh, the rectangular um, dial that'll keep track of your health um i mean this is a battling game so whoever gets uh last man standing is the is the winner you can play multiple players but this definitely shines as a as a two-player game um and then afterwards Dice Throne Season 2 came out, and actually when I was at my first FallCon in Calgary, which is our board game convention, it's the biggest board game uh, convention in Alberta that's held in uh, September. So the first one I had, Roxley had a display there, and then they had the Dice Throne Season 1, and I kind of ran over and said, like, oh, do you have Dice Throne Season 2? Because it wasn't released yet, but they were starting to uh, show things about it, and it was Paul that was managing the booth at the time, and he's like, I'll bring it tomorrow. So it was there the next day, and I played it a lot. And Dice Throne Season 2 is simply amazing. So you get the battle chest there. So it's huge, huge box. Um, you get all these extra characters with it that actually you can play Season 1 along with Season uh, season 1 and Season 2 together. You can kind of match them all up together. The big thing with Season 2 is... Um, it's uh the storage the storage is amazing each character comes with its little uh plastic holders and everything fits in there just perfectly the board is tri-fold now instead of a rectangular board so you kind of unfold it and you still have the different place but you have you can see a lot more of the, the artwork which is just gorgeous um so and then it's the same thing though right you can upgrade your attacks by purchasing the cards uh, it's still battle to the death. Last man standing is the winner. Um, but you got, um, I think it's 10 more characters with this one. Um, it's beautiful. Like this one is the gunslinger. Um, and again, you know, every character has their own custom dice that you'll roll the dice to, uh, to activate the different, um, attacks that you'll want to do. Um, and then I have here the, the artificer. Um, the, like they're in the Dice Throne season two, there's a lot more. I think they like to have more unique abilities. Um, the vampire one, uh, or the, um, the pirate one, actually, the pirate one is because you can upgrade your move. The pirate one, you don't really upgrade your move, but eventually you become cursed and you flip your board over and you get to do the curse attacks that slowly kills you. But they're a lot more powerful as well. So you kind of have all upgraded attacks once you become cursed. It's very interesting. There's a, it's very well thought out. It's an amazing game. Um, and then this is a picture because I have hosted a couple of Dice Throne Tournament for Roxy Games. Uh, this was the first one that I did here. And this was at the Board Game Bash of Blood. Uh, sounds gory, but it's actually a fundraiser gaming weekend that's for the um, uh, Canadian Blood Donation. So uh, it was neat. We had a bunch of people come. They played one-on-one, uh, -on -one, and then it kind of elimination, right? So if you died, you're done. If you if you won your game, then you moved on, and it was like the last one to win the, um, the final game got a Dice Throne Season 2 uh, battle box. So it was, it was great. It was a great, great event. Uh, amazing game. Um, so if you want to see more of what I – I post all the time. Uh, I'm very active on my Facebook group, which is Disbrain Areas, playing all the game. Or I am also on Instagram as Sport Game Mama. All right, thanks, you guys. Take care.